You know the worst part about what you just said, Chocobo? Is that I 100% believe you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can totally see you flushing ice cubes thinking that's somehow going to make it snow. And just by happenstance, it works. <laughs> like, that wouldn't even surprise me. I, I never had anything like that. But as a kid, I do remember um, fantasizing about, like, <laughs> spraying the road, like, on freezing nights, spraying the road with a hose. Thinking that, like, you know, this patch of ice on the road in front of my house, obviously school would get canceled because of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> but nothing like, nothing like that, you know? Activate the powers of the beard. The most you're going to do tomorrow anyways is meet with my team. If school gets canceled, we're just going to do a Zoom meeting, so it don't matter. Oh, well. <laughs> I still hope it gets canceled just so you can be a little more comfy in your home at least, even if you still got a Zoom meet up with everyone, but still. Have I ever lied? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Very sar sarcastic about shit sometimes. Joking lies, sure, but I mean, I guess this could... I don't know, man. I probably shouldn't believe you, but I, for some reason, believe you on this one. <laughs> we want sleep. Same. Fucking same, dude. I need to get the game view up for myself. I can't actually see the game. Uh, I see. Wow, such anime. This does not look like what I expected. This looks nothing like what I expected. Is this like... You guys remember when Yu-Gi-Oh! went like dungeon crawler all of a sudden? <laughs> like, is that what this is what's supposed to be? <laughs> Honestly, I thought this was going to be like... A card game. Is this a strategy game? Why is the text so small? Oh god, I'm concerned now. I was excited for this game. Now I'm thinking it's not going to be so great. Uh, create a profile? Sure. Uh, we're stream. You don't know what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck we're looking at. It's it's Duel Masters. It's I th apparently an anime, or was an anime, based off of a card game. It may be the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a card game based off an anime or anime based off the card game. Could be either. Who fucking knows? All I know is I saw Duel Masters. It made me think of Yu-Gi-Oh. It talks about cards. It shows a kid playing cards on the back of it. So I was like, cool. It's going to be like a Yu-Gi-Oh game or something. That's that's fun. I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, now I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it on medium. Moat. Wait, what's extreme? Extreme mode is only for true Kaijudo Kai Judo masters. Special extreme mode rules. There are no turns. Both players play cards at the same time. Summoning sickness and tapping lasts for a certain amount of time. What kind of card game do you just throw cards down as fast as you want or whatever? I guess, I mean, they're summoning sickness, I guess. So not as fast. What? I'm confused. When a creature is tapped or summoning sick, a timer at their base will show how long they remain tapped or sick. Each player receives a card automatically every few seconds. The draw card timer shows the time remaining before you are given another card. When you add a card to mana, the timer turns red, and you cannot add another card again until it returns to blue. Mana regenerates slowly over time. Spell effects only last for a short while. Um, so wait a second. Did they take a card game and turn it into a real-time strategy? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on normal mode, I think. <laughs> At least for the time being. Do we need to change any other options? Uh, No, it looks fine. You really don't need to save. I didn't change anything. You buy bad game. I That's still to be determined. But I'm a little more concerned now. Should we... Should we... Should should we do the tutorials, or is it going to actually show us in the story mode? We'll start a new game. Hopefully, the story mode starts up with a uh, tutorial. 
Why is that girl's eyebrow in front of her hair? <laughs> what was that? Right? <laughs> Of the oh, they were her eyelashes. What? Too soon. Too soon. You fool. Only the winner of the sacred tournament is gifted with control over these portals. You've destabilized the temple. No, eyebrows are not supposed to be in front of your hair. They're supposed to be behind your hair. Like, if you have bangs... Her eyebrows don't just magically appear, appear above your hair, but it was actually her eyelash anyways. Still looked weird because her hair was like over her eye, but her eyelash was, was weird. Two thousands flash anime, bruh. <laughs> it really does too. Was this made in America? <laughs> this does not look like this. Looks like shitty American animation, not Japanese animation at all. And I don't mean like all American animation is shitty. I just mean it looks like bad American animation. No, you need to be more aggressive. <laughs> no, I mean it. You play it too safe. Why were we told to meet here? You each have been selected for your unique abilities. There is something important that you must accomplish. A great task has been set before you. Do we get to duel? Yes. But first, I must see if you are ready. Bruh, I think someone in America saw how popular Yu-Gi-Oh was and was like, yo, we can do that, but better. That's <laughs> that's all I'm getting here. Fun fact, though, they didn't do it better. Um, so it's a media franchise consisting of manga, several anime series, a trading card game, and several video games, apparently. And no, it is from Japan, it seems like. Bruh. <laughs> oh boy. I am getting less and less excited by the minute. Let's uh let's just play all, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. You were expecting worse voice acting, really? As soon as I heard that girl speaking that sounded like she was like six, I was no. <laughs> Becoming a duelist, one of five. Greetings, Kohai, and welcome to the world of Duel Masters. This tutorial will teach you how to play a standard turn-based Duel Masters game. As a duelist, you'll face opponents in the battle zone, casting powerful spells and summoning deadly creatures. To punch through their protective shields, you'll duel these opponents with your own custom deck of 40 cards, each drawing power from one of the five civilizations. Fire, water, nature, darkness, and light. Why civilizations? Why not just... whatever. Destroy your opponent's shields and you can make a final attack to win the duel, but only those who learn from defeat as well as victory, can become true Kaijudo uh, masters. Besides standard mode, you can also play a screaming real-time version of Duel Masters called Extreme Mode. In Extreme Mode, you gotta think fast because your every move is timed. Number two, building mana. To summon creatures and cast spells, you need mana. Each turn, you can add one card to create this mana. The more mana you have, the more creatures and spells you can summon and cast. Rusty needs your help dueling Knight. On his first turn, he needs to add a card to his mana zone. It's best to add cards that cost too much to play. The Deathblade Beetle is a good choice because it cost five mana. Okay, and Rusty can't afford that yet. We must be Rusty. Use the arrows to find the Beetle. Press X to play it. Okay. Choose the add to mana option and press X. What happens if I just click summon? Okay, it just goes back. Cancel selection at any time just by pressing triangle. Okay, add to mana. 
That little yellow dot means Rusty now has one mana to spend. It's okay to spend all your mana each turn because you'll get it back on your next turn. That big green dot shows that Rusty's unlocked nature mana by having at least one nature card in his mana zone. Rusty can now summon and cast nature cards. When you can't perform any more actions, your turn will end automatically outside the tutorial. You can press, you can end your turn anytime by pressing circle. It's perfectly against one more turn one and two deck. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Literally. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How the fuck does playing a card you can't afford work? I think it's like sacrificing it to build up your mana pool. I think is what you're actually doing. Right? Like you're giving up that strong creature or whatever so that you have mana to play stuff on the next turn i think each turn players draw one new card from their deck however the first player in a duel doesn't draw a card until their second turn on knight's turn he draws a card and turns lock vizier of hunting into mana it costs four mana to summon and since knight has no mana yet he decides to add it to his mana zone you know the worst part about playing card games Looking at cool looking cards, man. I'm glad they just got rid of all of the, the cool artwork and the, the cards themselves for us to play. And instead, we get shitty text boxes and, and little tiny pieces of artwork that you can't really see. I'm really glad they made that decision. Um, otherwise, it would be it, I might enjoy this game too much. And, or I mean, I might not like this game at all. Sorry. Slipped up there a little bit. Uh, it's... Rusty's turn, and this time he gets to draw a card. After drawing a card, Rusty should add another card to his mana zone. Okay. Aqua Shooter. And Rusty's hand selected. Add to mana. I'm guessing we're adding that one because it cost four. Rusty now has two mana and has unlocked nature and water. By having at least one of each in his mana, he can now play nature and water cards. Before you can play a card, you need to check its mana cost. This number shows how much mana you need to play it. If these little dots are green, then you have enough mana to play the selector card. If they're red, then you still need more. What do the yellow dots above it mean? Rusty's finally ready to summon his very first creature. Find a burning main card in your hand and summon it. Battle zone is where creatures fight each other near the bottom of your screen. Choose summon. See that sparkling... See the sparkling ring circling that burning main? Is that a real sentence? See the sparkling ring circling that burning mane. Bruh. <laughs> he has summoning sickness and feels dizzy. This is normal and it means he can't attack until next turn. Okay, so you can't attack the same time you play a card. Got it. To read about cards in your hand, press R2 for the battle zone. Hold down L1 for player 1. Creatures R1 for player 2. Okay. On night's turn, he decides to put a stone sword into his mana. And he summons an Immortal Baron. This tutorial sucks and you're already confused. It's not great. A duelist's first goal is to destroy their opponent's shields. These blue rectangles show how many shields each player has. Normally, each starts with five, but sometimes new shields can be created. Yeah, card game, or just like board game, card game tutorials in general, I feel like are kind of confusing. Most of the time, games like that are better learned just by playing, but... Shields are actually cards drawn from your deck at the start of the duel. When a shield is broken, that card is sent to its owner's hand. So it's like the prize cards in Pokemon, but backwards. For Rusty's next turn, use what you've learned and add his Aqua Shooter to the mana zone. Okay. Then summon his Phantom Fish. Okay. Now you're going to learn to command your creatures in the battle zone. Press square to switch from hand to battle zone. Then select the burning main. For some reason, that's the only one I can select. Maybe because the other one has sickness? When you select a creature in the battle zone, a menu shows any target it can attack. Right now, the menu only shows player, which in this case is knight. Go ahead and select the player option to command the attack. Uh, okay. <laughs> Only four more shields need to be broken before Rusty can make his final attack and win the duel. It's not always that easy, though. Okay. Some creatures are called 
blue dot blockers? What? <laughs> That's because they can block attacks and protect you, your shields, and even other creatures. When a blue dot blocker is used, it battles the attacking creature to stop it or slow it down. Whenever two creatures battle, the one with the highest power wins. If they have the same power, both cards are sent to their owner's graveyards. A creature's power can be seen in both the card's information area and on its base when it's in the battle zone. On Knight's turn, he'll summon an Emerald Grass and attack Rusty with his Immortal Baron Borg. But Rusty's Phantom Fish will save the day and block the attack. Okay. Yeah, this looks like they played Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was like, we need to take the two, put them together... And then steal the thing, the, the the prize card thing from Pokemon, but don't make it obvious. Since Phantom Fish has 4,000 power and Immortal Baron Borg only has 2,000, the blocker will win the battle. Then why did he even attack? That was fucking dumb. <laughs> I love how these are just generic ass cutscenes for everything, too. Like, it's not even like in Pokemon where you at least see the two things hitting each other. It literally faded to black and then showed the other one just falling over. Like, you can even block attackers that are more powerful than your blocker. Your blocker will lose the battle, but will stop the attack this turn. Blockers can also block when they have summoning sickness. When a creature is destroyed, it's normally sent to its owner's graveyard. However, some spells and creatures can bring them back to life. Okay. Like creatures, to cast a spell, you need at least one card in your mana zone to be from the same civilization in addition to having enough mana to cast them. Okay, so mana itself is generic. Like, you don't have to have four grass mana to summon a grass creature. You just have to have at least four mana, one of them being grass. Good to know. Like creatures, to cast a spell, blah, 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 blah. For Rusty's next turn, add his burning main to the mana zone. Okay. And then select the Spiral Gate spell. Shield trigger, I don't know what that means. Star, return one creature to its owner's hand. That's nice. Cast. Uh, acknowledge. There's only one creature, Emerald Grass, so get rid of that. Now switch to the battle zone and select Rusty's Burning Main. Choose the player as person to attack. Can we turn these animations off? We can skip them at least. Thank God. This turn, Knight's going to put a Stone Sore into his mana pool and then play something. I didn't care enough to see what it was. Many cards have special rules that tell you how they're played. To make the most of your cards, you must become familiar with their rules. Deathblade Beetle is such a card. A plus power attacker and pause double breaker it gains extra power when attacking and destroys two shields each time it attacks successfully rusty currently has four mana to spend add his aqua shooter card so he'll have five and then summon the death blade beetle okay for now let's pretend rusty doesn't attack knight this turn so you can learn about tapped creatures bro what <laughs> After a creature attacks or blocks, it's too tired to do anything until the next turn. We call these creatures tap, and they're easier for others to attack. This turn, Knight will summon a Stone Sword and attack Rusty with Lock Vizier of Hunting, destroying a shield. Normally, Rusty could block Knight's attack with his Phantom Fish, but let's pretend he doesn't so you can see a tapped creature. I mean, haven't we already seen multiple tapped creatures? Like, all the ones that we've put down? I don't care about the animation. Go away. That gets us a card, though, right? Tapped creatures appear with blue Zs rising from them and stars circling their base. On the next turn, this effect wears off and the creature is ready for action. Can I just kill him now? <laughs> like blocking when one creature attacks another that's tapped, the one with the highest power wins the battle. This turn, summon another Deathblade Beetle. And attack Knight's tapped lock. Okay. Uh, Deathblade Beetle. Attack Lock. Do I think there's enough hot water for a shower by now? Yeah, probably. 
Deathblade Beetle's 3,000 power plus 4,000 power attacker bonus easily sends card to the graveyard. Burning Mane to attack Knight again. Okay. I actually really like the Pokemon TCG for the Game Boy. I'm not going to lie. There's only two shields left. Things don't look good for Knight at this point. Yeah, let's just... Okay. However, he's going to do something. I don't really care. Don't care. Um, that up symbol probably means something. Okay, you can summon multiple creatures in a turn. Knight will attack Rusty with a stone sword again. We'll pretend Rusty doesn't block so you can see a shield trigger. Shield trigger. Returns one creature to its owner's hand. Okay. When Rusty's shield was destroyed, it revealed a spiral gate spell. Unfortunately for Knight, this spell is a shield trigger. When a shield trigger is revealed, its owner can use it immediately for no mana. It doesn't have summoning sickness or add it to their hand and use it later at normal mana cost. Uh, target Knight's Emerald Grass. Okay. That was going to be fucking epic. There is no way it was going to be epic. I won't skip again, but come on. Once an opponent has no shields, you must make a final attack to win the duel. With each duel, you walk further up the narrow path to master. Cast Spiral Gate on the remaining Emerald Grass. I love the text that's just overlapping each other. That's beautiful. Summon Burning Mane. And attack the knight with one of Rusty's Deathblade Beetles. Okay. Uh, switch to the field. Deathblade Beetle. Attack knight. Knight is the player. Okay. There you go. Are you happy? <laughs> is, that, is that what you wanted to see? Attack Knight one last time with Rusty's other Deathblade Beetle to win the duel. I mean, couldn't I just attack with anything at this point? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there was such a... The difference between, like, the creatures and the character models is insane. You've completed the tutorial. Go us, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Why? Why does it have to suck, man? I was expecting good things. I was excited for this stupid game. You don't even have words, man. It's that good, right? Uh, okay. Go back. Would you like a tutorial? No. How many points for a new game? <laughs> Let's get into one actual match before we, before we, uh, peace out. Each of the five civilizations, fire, water, nature, light, and darkness calls out to one of you. This is why I've gathered you together. And with my help, you will learn to strengthen this bond and become Kaijudo Masters. Only then will you be prepared to face the challenges of the Five Colors Tournament. The Five Colors Tournament? That's a restricted entry tournament. Only the best. Of the best. Cool! You will progress as individuals, but a group's true strength lies in working together. Once you have honed your skills, we will speak again. This is gonna be so cool! Is it though? Is it gonna be cool? They're doing Clefairy, Teddy Ursa, and Pipplup Squish. I didn't even see that. Noodle needs a. We need a Noodle needs all the in Pokemon Squish fund. I'm confused about what that means exactly, but like. <laughs> Seriously, Mr. Black Hair is basically Kyoya for Metal Saga Beyblade. I haven't actually, I don't know if I've ever actually watched Beyblade before. Wonder if the colors of the Flash anime cast will decide their deck. Probably. 
Look at that, civilization darkness, civilization water, civilization nature, fire. Bruh, imagine that. Who the hell do we want to be? <laughs> I'm sure I've seen like episodes of it, but I didn't really like watch it, watch it, you know? We had a couple Beyblade growing up though, and they were fun to fuck around with. L-U-C, Luck, is that how you pronounce his name? How old is everyone? 15, 16, 14, 15, and 10. Oh shit, Rusty's just a baby. <laughs> Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Oh my god. Bro, for some reason I get Beyblade recommendations on YouTube sometimes, and then I watch them. <laughs> like, <laughs> especially like this dude likes to make like illegal combos That's and shit nice. and play them. It's pretty cool. 10 year olds we'll the MC. Oh, that. it's gotta be. Luke, I need to see your deck. Luke. Of course, but why? This card isn't on your deck list, Luke, and I'm afraid rule infractions carry very stiff penalties. But, but I. I'll have to disqualify you, and I'm afraid that could also mean that you've lost your invitation to the Master Tournament. But I don't even know how this happened. <sighs> I'm sorry, Luke, but the guidelines are very clear on this matter. Without these wins, you no longer qualify for an invitation. I understand. Give fuck, Luke. Bye bye, hotshot. She definitely cheated. Also, why did they randomly decide to search his deck? Like, if he didn't play the card. Why would they be like, you know what? We think you might have an illegal card in the middle of your deck. Like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you play the hell out of some Beyblade. Let's go, dude. Beyblade tournament win. You want revenge for I'm sure it's coming. It's got to happen, the right? Wouldn't have much of a game otherwise. This is going to put our whole tournament bid in jeopardy. Can we appeal the ruling? Knight already tried, but the rules for this situation are very specific. So that's it then. There's nothing we can do. I can't believe we're going to lose everything on a technicality. I could get my rank up high enough to requalify for the tournament. Your rank has been reset to zero, Luke. Do you know how many wins you'd have to get over the course of the week to pull this off? Wins I can do. I just need to know where the games are. Well, there's a tournament at school this afternoon, but even then you'd have to be dueling constantly. If you can get me the duels, I'll win them. I will make it back into the tournament. Duel people to raise your reputation. You'll find a few good duelists hanging out around town. Wait, is this first person? Bro, why can't I move? Hello? Wait a second. Oh, it's not actually first person. Like, it's acting like it's first person. But we just teleport from person to person. We don't actually, like, walk around. Why? <laughs> like, why not just let us walk around? I guess maybe this was easier to code? Alright, well, Lucy's the first person that popped up. So maybe we talk to Lucy? Bring it on. Do you wish to duel? Yes. And before we get fucked. Luke versus Lucy. Yoshi, let's go. For a second, I thought we were going to have like a persona style walking around town, interacting with people, you know, sort of shit going on. Wait, how did they determine who goes first? Why did that girl just automatically get to go first? Okay, uh, let's see. Ethel is like, we're never going to get a play. I also have no idea what that symbol means. So just add to mana. Um, do we have anything for one mana? No. So just end turn. Did she do nothing? Weird. What do these spells do? On summon, draw one card. Oh, wait, you're not a spell. Shield trigger and tap one opponent creature. Okay. Blocker can't attack players. Gross. That's a spell. Can't summon you. 
bone ghoul. Okay, uh... Maybe gray balloon. Uh, well, it can't attack players. But having a blocker would be nice. Let's just go ahead and put you in man, I guess. And then summon the bone ghoul just to get someone down. We well, need darkness mana? Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. Uh, emerald grass then. Even though you can't attack players... And then and turn, I guess. Okay. So how do we know? Is it the? It must be the border colors. How you know what type it is? Yeah. So we need a dark mana. So we have two mana already. So if we put the bone ghoul... Wait, you can't attack players. You can't attack players. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Put the gray balloon into the mana pool then. Summon the bone ghoul. I don't think we can attack yet because we just summoned and the other one can't attack player, but... So yeah, end turn. What the fuck is that symbol mean? No, I don't want to... Hold on. R1, there we go. This creature must attack each turn. Okay. Interesting. Shadow Moon. Um... Choose one of your creatures to be unblockable this turn. Can we add spells to mana? Looks like it. Other darkness creatures get plus 2,000 to power. Okay, summon then. And then we're out of usable cards, but we should be able to attack with our Bone Ghoul. Defeat that first shield, dude, let's go! <laughs> Is this how the actual card game works, I wonder? I mean, it's interesting. This reminds me of when I was a kid, I was always really mad that like in Yu-Gi-Oh, they didn't make some sort of thing because, like, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, you know, they put the cards down and then the giant monsters are summoned and you actually get to see them fighting and shit, and it's so cool. Like, I'm mad that I never got to experience that growing up. You know, I wanted to see my cards come to life and battle each other and shit. And I always felt like they could have made some sort of attachment for the PlayStation 2 or... Or a standalone thing. <laughs> like a standalone board. It probably would have been expensive as hell. But I feel like they could have done something with it. And it would have been cool. But they didn't. So. Uh, what's Death Smoke? Destroy one of your opponent's untapped creatures. Uh, honestly, I feel like we don't really need this. Because this lady's getting fucked. So I'm just going to summon Law. And start attacking. See what the shadow moon do, dude. Wow, I'm so glad we saw that happen. <laughs> that was an animation, let me tell you. God, why are the enemies so slow, dude? You have AI controlling you. Just take your turn. Uh, Death Smoke? What's Death Smoke do again? Destroy one of your opponent's untapped creatures, okay? On summon, tap one opponent creature. Uh, let's just 
Oh, this is a spell. I mean, they're going to attack and be killed by our blocker anyways next turn. So I don't see the point in summoning, or I'm sorry, in, in destroying it. What did I just do? Oh, we tapped it. Okay. I think... I think... Yeah, she's just, she's just lost at this point, right? Don't we have three attackers on the field? No, don't end, end turn. Yeah, Bone Ghoul, do your thing, and then Shadow Dude, and then Law, and that's that's GG. Do we actually get to build our deck at some point, or are we just stuck using pre-made? It's gotta let us actually build build a deck at some point, right? I'm assuming we just haven't unlocked that ability yet. But even a game of this caliber, trading card game of this caliber, has got to let you at least build a deck. So its attack was it glows a little bit? <laughs> That's all it did, man. It just spun around in a circle slowly and then, and then some light came off of it. Oh no. Here's your prize. Oh, we get to like steal a card. Shield trigger. See, see how much cooler these cards look like this? <laughs> Why not just show us the freaking cards, man? Rarity common. It's a spell. Uh, but it's water. We don't have anything water. I mean, not that we have anything fire or whatever either, but... Are any of these not common? No, they're all common. Oh, Jesus. Power attacker, plus 2,000 while attacking this creature. You know what? We'll take that one. And we get 425 reputation points, dude. Hell yeah. That's exciting. All right. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna explore. Arg, this deck is worthless. Or maybe you're just worthless, Lucy. We're going to explore the town real quick and maybe do one more duel. But uh, I think we've seen basically all we need to see, man. I'm kind of hoping it lets us get into the deck builder aspect at some point, too, before we hop off of this. Okay. Quest screen. There we go. Oh, everything is grayed out, though. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got map, build decks, creature cards, quests, and options. Creature card? Nine card pieces left? What? Are we trying to, like build a special I'm confused what's the toggle oh our entire collection or a deck okay set signature card hey what's up psycho gotta collect them all I'm guessing I don't know I want law to be my signature card oh it's not capable of see <laughs> what do you mean it's not capable of being a signature card what is capable of being a signature card then? All right, well, never mind. I guess we're just not allowed to have signature cards. Sig creature. Hold on, that was a thing. We must just not have any yet then? Just play Master Duel and then everyone else can also enjoy just watching endless combos. <laughs> Exit with no changes, yeah. Okay, map. Card shop, school, restaurant. What are these other places? Okay, well, let's visit the card shop. Do we have, like, currency? Do we spend reputation points? How the hell does this happen? Friendly PSA. Make sure to shake your mangoes before buying. Sometimes they rattle. Yeah, Noodle and I were doing a little bit of grocery shopping last night, and she walks over to me with a mango and says, I'm not going to buy this one. I just want you to feel it. So I feel it, and I was like, it feels fine. She said, shake it. And <laughs> there was just something rattling around inside of it. I have no idea why. It was really weird, but... Okay. Craig. Sean. Chuck. 
Hey, Psycho, thank you so much for the resub, my guy. Appreciate it. Hooper? Wait. Okay, I'm assuming the guy in the black shirt's Craig. Who the hell's Sean? Is that the kid in green? So does that make Ch Chuck the shop owner? Can we not buy cards here either? Creolich just sub. Thank you so much, my guy. Appreciate it, dude. What would you like to do? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. We can buy and sell with him. Good to know. And a thousand bit sub. What the hell, my guys? <laughs> or not a thousand bit sub, thousand bit donation. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you gifted one to Creo Lich. That's where that one came from. Psycho, my guy. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. So what happens when we... What do we want to sell? Spiral Gate. Just sell it. Yeah. Wait, did we get all three of those cards? Oh, we did. We weren't picking one. We just got all of them. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, sell the water one. We now have 10 store credits. Can we buy anything? Oh, we can buy packs. Well, we can't right now because we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I would like to see what the pack opening, how that works here, but, um, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to be playing this specific game long enough to figure that out. Let's check out the school. It's the only place we haven't been. I'm guessing it's going to be one... Like, one room. <laughs> Bruh, this whole game is jank as hell. We got Finch, Laura, Raquel, and Mr. Lin. <laughs> Let's have a dual masters battle with our teacher, Hello. man. Are you here for the tournament? Yes. Is there still time to enter? Uh, I'll have to look over your deck first. Right. Well, everything looks in order. Here's your first round opponent. Oh. Oh, there's a tournament going on. I wanted to fight the teacher. <laughs> All right, Finch. Now the fun begins. You're going to be our our last battle for the night, I think, dude. I don't <laughs> I don't know how much more of this game I can take. Yeah, the loading screens definitely look better than the game itself. I 100% agree with what Chocobo said earlier. This looks like a fucking flash animation from the early 2000s. It's crazy. Okay, we got a skeleton, soldier, gray balloon, solar ray. Who's... Okay, well, we're not playing anything right away. That's a spell. Let's put the uh, skeleton soldier in the mana first. That gives us a darkness mana. I have no idea what he just did. Do we have any level 2 creatures? We have a level 2 bloody squido that apparently can't do anything. It's a blocker. It can't attack. And it's automatically destroyed on battle? That's kind of trash. Um, Let's throw our magris in. And I guess we'll summon the bloody squido. I mean, it'll give us something to... It's, it's basically one block, right? Like, if he attacks us once, we can block with it. And that's pretty much all it does. Otherwise, it's, it's like, useless. Okay, so we tapped that creature. I mean, it can't attack anyways, so whatever. Death smoke? Destroy one of your opponent's untapped creatures? I mean, that is pretty good. What do you do? Fast untap? I don't know what that means. Blocker can't attack. Annoying. Um, you know what? Just add that to mana. And let's summon something that can actually attack. No, don't end turn. Oh, wait, yes. End turn. 
That creature reminds you how much you miss playing World of Warcraft. Now, I never really got into WoW, man. I wanted to back in the day whenever, you know, it was first coming out and was super popular. But my computer just couldn't handle it, so I never got the chance to really give it a try. To be unblockable this turn. Well, he's not a, a blocking creature, so... Death smoke. Destroy one of your opponents untapped. Okay. So, if I... What do I want to add to mana? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna let him attack. Like, I don't really care. So I'm gonna put you in mana. I'm gonna summon you. And then attack. Now that's gonna trigger his spell trigger or whatever, but... I still don't 100% understand what that card does. Yeah, I had a really crappy computer. <laughs> Actually, I had two. One was a uh, old Windows 98 machine that I got given to me from, from the school. Um, and it couldn't run it. But before that, I had this uh, crappy little Dell. And uh, it, yeah, just could not run it. Like, e neither one of those computers can run it. The Dell sadly died after like a year or something like that. Don't really know what happened to it. I was a kid at the time, so even if, you know, I'd known, I probably would have forgot by now. Um, the other one I had for a long time, actually, but it could hardly run anything. It could emulate a couple of games. I could watch YouTube on it, and I could play RuneScape. Like, that was, <laughs> that was pretty much all it did, which was mostly fine for me because I played a shit ton of RuneScape anyways, but I was always really mad I couldn't play WoW. I really wanted to get into it back in the day and just could not, no matter what. Okay, so we could instantly kill this creature, but is that worth it? Wait, what's the hell a Slayer card? I'm gonna summon it? But I don't know what it does. The unblockable. Destroy. I'm gonna tap you, or not tap you, but add you to mana. And then attack. Yeah, he's not a block or anything, so might as well just murder. I need to find all of the old tech you stole from the school so I can give it back if I move. <laughs> My god, dude. My uh, college gave away some stuff, so that was pretty cool. That's how I got some of my shit uh, when I was first, you know, like moving out, getting on my own. You have one of the most high technology advanced phones there is and use it to emulate Madden 2002 from the N64. Why the N64 version? Is the N64 version like better than the, uh, than the, the PlayStation 1 version of it or something? Or PlayStation 2, I guess, 2002, huh? N64 is what you grew up on. Fair. Fair enough. I want to, uh, one of these days, my plan is to take my Steam Deck. I have a uh, SD card in it, but I have the, the higher gigabyte model Steam Deck uh, for games. So I want to take that SD card and just install a bunch of emulators on it. That was annoying. <laughs> he destroyed one of my creatures. I planned on killing you this turn, you know. Uh, what the hell does Ethel do? Can't be blocked. You're a blocker, but I don't really need you. I'd rather have the mana to throw down Ethel. Because Ethel seems cool. And just attack, I guess? Stole is a strong word. Officially, it's yours as long as you return it if you... Okay, okay, okay. Two brick laptops that run 98 and 2,000 and a shit ton of floppy disks. Wow. <laughs> like, talking about a uh, 2000s or a, a Windows 98 computer from when I was a kid doesn't seem that bad, you know? Because I it wasn't that late after 98, me being a kid. It was probably like 2005 or something um, when I got it. 2006, maybe. But, like, speaking of a Windows 98 laptop in this day and age or or yeah brick laptop okay that's crazy man 
Okay. Give that another way around a Steam Deck really is. Wait, he did what? I don't know. <laughs> I love my Steam Deck, though. But as far as anything that's happening in this game, I couldn't tell you. I have no clue. Wait, did he just attach something to that? I wasn't even looking. I just turn over and his creature now has like a head on it. How do I look at his card skin? Evolution humans. On attack, plus 2000 power for each other human? Weird. Uh. Okay, it's tapped. That's why it has the Z's. So I can't use death smoke. I can summon law though. Wait, no, don't end my turn. Or Skeleton. Law's more powerful. Just summon that. Whatever. And then... Uh, you're strong. You attack. Get wrecked, dude. Yeah, I think that's why my school gave him away, too. Like... Because they just had... Whenever... He let me, like, pick out two machines... Um, the, the computer teacher did. And whenever he took me up to, like, the storeroom, they were just, you know, computer after computer after computer just sitting around on the floor in the storeroom and a handful of monitors and shit. Like, it was... Uh, yeah, I can't think of anyone else or any other reason why they were just giving them away. As far as I know, I'm the only student that actually got one, but I think the, the program, as they called it, was available to other people. But, yeah. You got a brick on your bed right now. 2004 Windows XP. Wow, dude. I, uh, that's, I have a lot of old consoles. No old computers. Jank, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon? Yeah, it's kind of like, it feels like Magic the Gathering crossed with Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and then just a tiny dash of Pokemon thrown in for good measure. That's what it feels like. Interesting recipe, right? Right? It's 1.30. What games are there still to play? Do we have time to even try something else? Or do we just keep playing Duel Masters? I need to learn how to shuffle? Wait, are you saying your deck was loaded? Did that dude not shuffle his deck before we played? I'm confused. I think he's just blaming his loss on bad draws, but... That's a weird way to do it, my guy. That art looks pretty cool, though. Like, new game, this kind of sucks. But, like, what would we even play, you know? With a half hour or so left. Starsky and Hutch? I mean, Suzuki TT Superbikes probably wouldn't take too long to, to get a feel for. One round of TCG? That's not a bad idea. A little bit of TCG sounds like a good a good uh, idea. A, knock a sports game off the list? Do we even have any sports games left? NASCAR 06, NBA Jam, and NCAA Football 10. That's the only sports games I think we have left, man. We've got most of them off the list at this point. You call dibs on TCG? All right, we'll, we'll do a round of TCG. I'm fine with that. Why not? It's a good way to waste a half hour. I had an idea at some point of something else that we could do to on nights like this where we just need to waste a little bit of time, but I don't remember what the hell it is now. <laughs> like, it's just completely gone from my memory. I, it was a game, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember what. Something that I would love to do, um, if you guys want... We played a game, like my gaming group IRL, Mysterium, last night. Ton of fun. Ton of fun. Uh, it's on Steam. I think it was like, I don't know, like $5 or something like that. Uh, and it, it's a board game, quote unquote. But it's cooperative. Like, everybody's trying to reach the same goal. You have one player that acts as a ghost. 
and they cannot talk to the other players at all. They can only show the players selected cards to try to lead them towards the person that killed them, basically. And the other players are all trying to, to find a suspect, a place, and a weapon, essentially, for the base game at least. Um, and then if all of the players are able to correctly identify their suspect, place, and weapon, then they get to go to the final round along with the ghost to, to decide on who actually did it. Um, and if the, the group is able to get all of that stuff right, then you win. The, the ghost and all of the players. It's, it's completely cooperative, the whole game is. And uh, just that mix of like not being able to talk, but trying to lead people to the right suspect and things just by showing them uh, a couple of cards out of a, a small random stack of them. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's relatively cheap. If you guys ever want to play it on stream, I would love to give it a try. There's also Town of Salem is another one that I've really been wanting to, to play in general. It's Werewolves, if you've ever heard that, but, you know, digital. Uh, pretty cheap, and I think you can get it bundled with, with Mysterium. Uh, but anyways, you'd backseat drive the hell out of you on an NCAA football game? I need it. I suck at football games, dude. <laughs> I truly suck at just sports games in general i think it's because i don't really watch sports or anything irl uh that's probably a big part of it but yeah i'm i'm bad at them tcg live load that up screen cap not rim world come on find the game there we go pokemon tcg live Transition. 